Welcome back to the T-Less Traveled. My name is Cameron. Today we're in Signal Mountain, Tennessee, north of Chattanooga, playing the nine on top disc golf course. It's right on top of a mountain, just north of Chattanooga, a nine hole course, as the name suggests, and we're playing it blind. Looks like there's gonna be a lot of tricky lines ahead, so we'll see how we fare. But let's get right to it. Hole one, par three, 181 feet. It's just down here. And contrary to the T sign, it's not as far to the left as you would assume. Just gotta push out through the trees. Keep going, keep going. Oh wait, that might be long. We'll find out. As you can see, this basket needs some help staying up. Oh boy, there's a lot in the way. Um, we'll give it a little bit of a test. Well, not a test, but a run. Close. Ooh. Easy part. All right, hole two, 189 foot, par three. We're headed over there. A very precarious tee pad and a mando on that tree right there. Well, made, made the gap. Ooh, this tree branch, well, the whole tree, it's very in the way. I think I might have to give this a try. Oh, close. Another part. Hole three, 216 foot par three, straight down this tiny little tunnel. I could go forehand, but I think for me, a hyzer flip is probably gonna be the best. It's a very short tee pad as well. Oh, one to miss. Right, very unfortunate. Just gonna try to, same disc again, similar strategy, just trying to get straight up there. Don't hit the, oh! Okay, long putt, long putt. Bit of a longer putt. I'm gonna mark, get everything it will give me. Oh, just, just in front of it, just in front of it. Oh, first, first boogie for the round. So we get some birdies, get that back. Also, I don't know if you guys can hear the crazy frogs, but they're really loud. It's also starting to rain, so let's hope we can finish this. Hole four, 165 foot par three. There's a mando right there, and the basket is almost directly behind the mandatory tree. All right, I thought about same disc turnover, but I feel like this tree right here just makes that a little bit too hard. So I'm gonna to try to bust out my normally poor forehand, see if we can get somewhere close. Yeah, and there it is, a poor forehand. Ooh. All right, so a little bit of a pickle. I probably should not have done the forehand at all. I just spooked myself after hitting the tree. Technically this is dead and detached and behind my line, but like I don't know what moving it would do. So I feel like really all I have is to do a soft putter tomahawk of some, or I think the forehand is probably gonna have to be what happens just because of the angle, but let's hope this isn't awful. Yeah, pretty bad. Would the tomahawk have been better? Not necessarily. There's just a lot of sticks in here. All right, a little bit of a tester. 
All right, Cam, let's make a good putt. That was not a good putt at all. <sighs> oh, another bogey. Dang, I need to work on touchiness. All right, we can do this, Cam. Don't defeat yourself. Hole five, 185 foot par three. It's just down this little tunnel and then up on the hill. Right, harp on hyzer. Really trying not to hit that overhanging branch. I am getting up there. Ooh, I, ooh, whew, that is so long. Right, so not enough hyzer, a little bit too hard. I don't need to be a hero. I just need to not get a bogey. Just trying to lay it up real close. I'll do it. Okie doke. Easy bar. All right, hole six, 393 foot, par three. Basket is out there past that insane amount of trees. So it doesn't really seem super birdieable, but more like if you get a par, it's practically a birdie. I'm really not sure what the line is. I think I'm gonna go try to go through the big two trees and hope it works somehow. It's a little bit of hyzer. I would flips up a bit. Or not between the two trees. Woohoo! Ouch. Man, I need to work on touch. All right, baskets right down through this little tunnel. Just gotta throw something straight. That was, that was really close. All right, pretty close. Let's, let's make a putt. Where's the better footing? This way is better footing. Oh, dang it. Well, not my putting day today. There's a big hole right here. Oh, man. This is tough. I'm not gonna lie. I have no excuse. Hole seven, 243 foot par three. T sign leads me to believe that it's up and straight, but on further investigation, it's not. It's actually tucked right over there. All right, I'm going with my most overstable harp. Trying to go high and see what we can do. T-pad is also not aligned for this shot whatsoever. <sighs> oh my gosh. All right, so terrible lie, terrible hit. Really don't have much of anything. It's like either try a forehand roller this way or try to poke something up that way on a forehand. I'm gonna try the forehand because I just think this way could just bring so much worse into play. But here we go. All right, we're up there. Super long putt, but we'll see. I'll look at the par. You know, my brain is telling me you're not gonna make it, but I need to whew, calm down. Mm. 
Oh boy. Hole eight, 144 foot, par three, straight up through this gap. Just don't hit the trees. Okay, a little bit of a look. Pretty precarious footing. I mean, I've got to give it a run at this point. Something high on Heiser. Oh, darn. It's just one of those days where just stuff doesn't go right and makes you be like, man, am I good at this golf? But I'm still going to keep playing. I love this game. Just, you just have days like this sometimes. All right, final hole, hole nine, 150 feet. Straight through this little tunnel full of trees, as normal. Whew. All right, let's do this. We're close. All right, that'll wrap it up. Finally a birdie. Man, that was that was a tough round, I'm not gonna lie. I feel kind of bad about myself. I um, feel like I kind of want to rate the course more negatively because of my own playing. But I think it's really like this. Some of the holes are kind of poking hope, but I think really it just forces you to hit your lines and hit them well. And that's something that with only I think nine months of playing time thus far. I just don't quite have yet. Um, but overall, really fun course here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Um, it's probably gonna show up on installment after I fill a lot of courses called uh, the T Retraveled, the Revenge Series. Wherever I play and play above par, try to go and replay it. Um, but yeah, that's the T List Traveled. Thanks for watching, see you next time.